it is definitely just heading pretty much right at us. It's getting pretty close. Oh, hello. And welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So today we're out here on Hirschfelden because I just recently unlocked the 454 as well as the best ammo for it. So we're going to try to take out some bison as well as talking about the next challenge for Zaggy and I's series of challenges to determine the best hunter here in Call of the Wild. So we've got bison in front of us. I think they might actually be coming back this way. They did spook. Yeah, there's definitely bison moving in this direction. We're going to have to just take the first one we see, I think. They are not far away, but I don't see any yet. This one, like, to our left is right in front of us, though. There it is. It is a female. I did just want to see what a... Wow, what is happening? Okay, this may have been a mistake. <gasps> Alright, so, uh... We've got two hit, and please no. This one's down. And I think they're done chasing me. So this looks to be a female, and it is. So a double lung shot will get 60% quick kill bonus. I was just curious to see what we get. So we'll probably be going for spine and neck shots. And where is the blood from the other one? Looks like a flesh wound. I think we might have hit it twice, so I don't know if it's going to go too far. So this is the male that we hit. He's down to 25 to 50% health. I don't know if he'll die from that shot, but I think we should probably shoot him again and then worry about this other one that's right on top of us. So I should really... Oh, wow. Literally right on top of us. Gonna have to change my mind, I think. Alright, that... One's still going to run us over. This one, I'm guessing, is going to want to charge us. So that should take him down. Don't run me over. I don't have enough health to survive another charge. So that is three bison down now, I think. Man, we just missed the brain on that guy the first time. We hit to the left. 132. I think they get well over 200, the European bison, as far as trophy rating. So that's not huge. And this one that we shot at, like, I don't even know how far, not very, probably like 5 meters. I'm kind of curious to see, but the 454 definitely is a good weapon for these guys, especially how close we're getting. No need for the 308. And we had 8 meters, and then 7.9 meters. I don't know if there are any other bison if that, with that group. I'm going to at least uh, follow the tracks and see in case there are any big males, but... If there weren't, I think we'll abandon this group and try to find another. So we do have another male here. He is a level 3 as well, so I'm guessing that is not a huge one. I don't know if he'll end up turning around, because a lot of them seem to just uh, want to come back here. I don't know if they have a feed zone that they're trying to get to, or why they keep coming back this way. But as we crawl in his direction, uh, I wanted to talk about the next challenge for uh, the series that Zaggy and I are doing. Uh, and that... Oh, he is turning around. Cool. Oh, wait, that's a female. Alright, regardless, we have one, and it looks like two coming our way, but the next challenge is going to be Brown Bear. Because we've done Leighton Lake and then Hirschfeld, and I decided to just hop uh, right to the next map, which of course is Medved Taiga. I'm going to stop talking so I can shoot this male because I cannot concentrate on two things at once. See if we can drop this one, maybe. Yeah, immediate drop shot on him. Actually, I just thought... I am really low on health, so I should really heal. I don't know if I have... Uh, let's see. First aid kit. Cool. But anyway, our Bison 192 score. That got us a gold. Not too bad. Spawn shot definitely will drop them using the 454. But we're going to do Brown Bear with the 243 and the highest quick kill bonus. Once again, uh, total quick kill bonus is going to win. We're going to do uh, five shots, five animals, just like before. Uh, and I know that you can take Brown Bear down with the 243, so I'm curious. It's going to be something like Red Deer with the 223. We're using a weapon uh, that is much too small for the animal, but it's definitely capable of taking it down. So it should be interesting, and this time no one's going to have a distinct advantage of going second. Uh, so we don't have to, uh, we don't get to see the other person's score and then just try to beat that. We're going to 
uh, record them individually and then upload them at the same time so we don't get to watch the other person's mistakes and or uh, success and figure out the best way to do it. We're going to have to figure it out on our own. And we've got yet another bison here. These guys are determined to get back where they came from. I don't think that's a male. If it is, it's tiny. Brain shot works as well. Did I not hear another one, though? Maybe that was just his footsteps as he went down, or her footsteps. I think this is a female. And it is. 96 score. Shot through the brain. I don't know how many bison we have now, like five or six already? This is going better than I thought it would. So we've got our bison out here. This guy is resting, and this is the one we're going to take out. I think we'll just go for a 75-meter spine shot. So we'll zero for 75. And I think we hit too high. I don't know. That's probably not going to take him down. But we'll have to track him. But I did just want to further clarify on the challenge. Uh, collars are going to be allowed and scopes are going to be allowed. So it's only a matter of getting the highest quick kill bonus. Distance is not going to matter uh, for this particular challenge. Sounds like once again the bison are determined to get back to where they were. I'm guessing this is the one that we hit uh, that I can hear. So I'm just laying here with the 454 for 25 meters. Assuming it's going to come out of the brush right here in front of us. It is definitely just heading pretty much right at us. It's getting pretty close. Oh, hello. I don't even know. Hey, that was the right, the right one. Cool. 151 trophy rating. Of course, 0% quick go bonus. I forgot what is happening there. It's like a weird hitbox issue there. I'm not sure, but... Um, I forgot the bison spine is a bit lower below the back uh, than a lot of the other animals. So we've got a whole herd of bison over here, and there's another um, male out in front of us. So I'm thinking we'll just take the male and then go after this herd. I'm just checking to see if there's any rares. I don't see any. I think a rare bison would be really, really cool, but there's a male right around in here somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's resting now as well. And now he is alert, so I think we'll just go for the shot from here. Dropped him in his tracks. And I think he's still giving out the rest of his warning call. Either that or there's another one around here. Actually, those bison over there might not have run. I just heard a warning call from them, so maybe they are still over there. But this guy should be pretty decent. He had the higher score estimate for a level 3. So I'm guessing he's going to be somewhere in the area of the other gold that we had. I think he should be gold as well. We'll just see what we get for him. 184, and pretty much the minimum for gold. We got a brain shot and a neck bone shot on him. So hopefully there's going to be a couple of males with this group up here. I can only imagine there will be. Maybe we can even get an even bigger one than we've had. So we've got that entire herd of bison just in front of us. I don't see any that look noticeably different. Although that one does look a bit lighter. I imagine that is common as well. I haven't spotted any males yet though. I guess I'll just kind of move up the hill just a bit. I did have at least one male track. Okay, there we got a decent male. I don't think we spotted that one. Yeah, mostly females in this group. I don't think we're going to follow it uh, very long. I just want to take the one male. I think I might be getting charged here, though. Yep. It just turned too aggressive. I was curious if we could get a heart shot, and I do believe that is what happened. And I think that is our decent male there, the middle one. I don't really know that it's worth following him. He's not going to be a diamond, that's for sure. And we did catch the heart on that shot. I was curious if that's what we had going on. I think we'll just try to find another group of bison, hopefully one uh, with at least a level 4. I'd like to top 200 on a trophy rating, but we've definitely done good so far. I'd say we have close to 10 bison down already, and I don't think I've been recording for, like... 25 minutes at the most. So we've got more bison out here. It looks like all females. I don't know if that's from the same group. This one should be a male. And he is a smaller male, but let's see if we can get the spine on him. Okay, that was weird. And this one's not too happy. Must have just caught the top of the heart with that shot because I was zeroed for 50 and thought I was actually too high. I think this was a female, if I'm not mistaken. It was, and we did actually just catch the side of the heart. 
Can't complain about that, and we must have gotten spine on this male, which should be probably like 140. 150, actually. Not bad at all. Like I said, I've completely lost count of the amount of bison that we've gotten already, but this is beyond what I even thought we could do in this amount of time. So we've got another male bison in front of us. I think we're going to go for another 75 meter shot. Actually, he just turned kind of this way, but maybe we should just go for the standing still shot. And looks like we got the spine. Definitely doing pretty good on bison. I'm not sure how much more I want to do, uh, just so we don't completely eliminate every bison down here. But it's definitely been going pretty well. I might take a screenshot of this one because he's not in a bad area. I wonder if his other horn is going to be glitched through the ground, and unfortunately it is. We'll just take something quick. 139 score on this guy. So there's just a random red deer out here. I think we'll try to take her out with the 454. I'm hoping she's going to stop. That should at least be good enough. Whoa. I got spun around there. But it looks like what I can only imagine was double lungs enough to take down a red deer. I know that's not going to give us the integrity bonus, but I was just kind of curious. Oh, it did. Why is the 454 ethical for red deer? The 600 grain arrows aren't ethical for red deer. That makes no sense in my mind, but I can't complain about that. I guess I should have brought the uh, red deer color. It looks like we got... That's a roe deer. That's definitely not going to be ethical. So we've got a couple of bison around. I've not seen a male, uh, but I was kind of hoping to look around a bit more and see if there is one, but if this one decides to get aggressive, we're going to have to take our shot, uh, and I'm going to have to kind of keep an eye on her, since she definitely knows we're here, but I thought I heard uh, more bison up this way, so I don't want to take a rushed shot if there is a male up here. I've not even had a male track, to be honest. She's alert, so she could definitely get aggressive at any time, but I just wanted to check and see. Yeah, there are more bison up here. Are there any males, though? This one, oh, okay. That one decided to get aggressive, so... Had to take her out. What was that? Was that just a roe deer? Oh, that's a tiny male bison. Uh, I don't know if that was a roe deer or, like, a rare bison. I'm gonna go check that out, uh, and look at any disturbed vegetation tracks because it looked really red but it also looked larger than a roe deer it could have been a red deer I guess as well but a heart shot on that, spi that bison will check out uh, what we just had going on up here and then maybe try to get one more it definitely sounds as if that was a roe deer I've got a couple of warning calls uh, from a roe deer so I'm guessing that is what we saw and I guess we'll just try to take this female bison in front of us hopefully it'll turn around and face this way that should work. May have hit a bit low there. Oh, I don't know what we hit on that second shot because it actually would have taken her down. I went for the heart, but let's see. Actually, it was just flesh. Maybe it wouldn't have taken her down. But she seemed to have just frozen there, but I think that is going to be a good final kill uh, for this video, I have no idea how many bison we ended up with, but it was a lot. Uh, probably like 15 plus. It sure felt like I had that many shots. Maybe it wasn't quite that many, but definitely not bad. I think we'll be revisiting this for sure and hopefully trying to get a couple of, be a couple of better males. But what did that one score? 192. Definitely wasn't bad. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.